Where we're rolling to is the old location of the uh, bar called Carlos and Charlie's, which closed a couple of years after Natalie disappeared. Most of the young people go there and drink and go shots and get on the dance floor and, and you know, have a night out on the town. During its peak, all of this area would be just crowded with people. But uh, this was the last place that uh, Natalie was seen alive, and I would say it's the starting point of all the lies and lies and lies and lies that began afterwards. Back in 2005, Bjorn Vandersloot, he's only 70. The drinking age is 18. He had a VIP pass to Carlos and Charlie's. That tells you that the rules are broken for the locals, and especially for him, because his dad's a judge. And on her last night, Natalie and her friends wanted to come here to be with the crowd and be with the people. And, uh, you know, it was one big party. And that's where they met Jorn Vandersloot and the Calpo brothers. They were at the front bar and they called last call. Well, Jorn escorted Natalie to the back bar. And the back bar is where they would spike the drink with the date rape drug. And then they proceed out the door. They got in the car, exited, and went down to the end of the street. And the last known witness indicated they saw Natalie in the vehicle, perched outside the sunroof, and yelled for her to get out of the vehicle. And I don't know whether she heard him or not, but she is saying, woohoo, Aruba. And uh, that was the last known sighting. I arrived on the island, went down to Carlos and Charlie's. Uh, my brother and brother-in-law went in, kind of check it out and see what was going on. And I said, I'm not going into a place like that. You know, it was a pickoff point for people to administer date rape drugs and that type stuff uh, and to pick up a girl. So, um, you know, I just chose not to. I just didn't feel it was appropriate for me to go in that establishment. Really didn't want to. So I stayed out. Here we are 12 years later and still no real answers. So it's, uh, it's been a road trip. A hard one.